Hey guys, hope you're all good today. In the previous video, we saw the basic concept of the aggregator transformation, where we used the aggregator transformation to sum, take an average, min, max of the source data. Today we'll be taking a look at an example of it, where we need to create a mapping to populate min, max salary the average and sum of the salary for each department based on the employee's data with the help of the aggregator transformation. So let's move on to the practical of this and let's go to the SQL Assistant first and see how to execute, how to take the sum, average, min, max, etc. using the SQL queries. So let's connect to the target database first. Target password target as well. Uh, let's connect to the source table first, source and database first, and execute the SQL statements over there. We'll come back to the target database later. Over here, connect using the HR username and password HR as well. Now, let's select department ID comma count employee ID comma min salary comma <clears throat> max salary comma sum salary comma average salary from employees group by department ID execute the statement and there you go the, da uh, the data is grouped by each department and then it shows the number of employees in that department, the minimum salary, the maximum salary, the sum and the average of that department. Now how do we implement this in the Informatica Designer? To do that we need to create the target table first. So let's go to target database, create table, employees underscore aggregate department that's department ID let's set its data type as voucher or let's just go to the word document we've already created the table the DDL copy paste it over here don't worry we will be provided with this where here we have department ID employee count min salary max salary average salary and the sum salary Let's execute this. A new table has been created. So let's move on to the Power Center Designer and create a new mapping for this aggregator transformation. Connect to the repository, username, administrator, password, oracle. Open the trainings folder and create a new mapping. M underscore <coughs> employees underscore aggregator. Let's bring in the target table, import from database that we just created. Target, click connect. Here, bring in the employees underscore aggregate table. Okay, now in the mapping, bring in the employees source table. Okay, bring in the source table. Yeah and the employees underscore aggregate target table. <clears throat> now we need to bring in the aggregate transformation between the two. So this is the sigma sign. Now populate the source qualifier rows to the aggregate transformation. Rename it. Name it as AWGR underscore EMP underscore salary. Click OK, yes, bring in the source qualifier rows. 
only those rows that we need, which are partner ID, salary, and the employee ID. Now, add new ports. <clears throat> First one will be the employee underscore count. Then we have select this as decimal. Position sh shouldn't be more than four. Four is fine. And uncheck the input ports. Now, the second port is the <clears throat> EM is the min salary. This is also decimal and select its precision as 8 2. The sec third one is max salary. It is also decimal precision 8 2. Then we have the AVG, which is the average salary precision decimal precision 12 2. And then add another port for the sum salary in decimal 12 2. Uncheck the input port. Okay. For the employee count, go to the aggregate functions and add this count and port employee ID. Validate this, click OK. If you remember, these are the exact same expressions that we use in our SQL query. So for the min, use the min function with the port salary click ok for max salary do the same select the max function with the salary port click ok for average salary select the average function and port salary and similarly for the sum port select the sum function and salary port Click OK. We need to group by by the department ID, which we did in the SQL query as well. In the properties tab, we don't need to set anything over here. Click apply. OK. Now let's link the output ports to the target table using the auto link. Click OK. And there we have it. All the ports have been populated. Arrange all. Save your work. And now let's move on to the workflow manager <coughs> to create the procession and workflows for this mapping. Create a new workflow called WF underscore employees underscore applicator. Select the new session for the mapping that we created. Link both the start and the session rename the session remove the m underscore select the fail paint of task fails property in the properties tab select the right backward compatibility file in the config object given five as the save session log number and one as the stop on errors property in the mappings tab select hr over here and in the employees tab select target over here select normal and the truncate table option and that's it click apply okay save the workflow and then we need to execute it it's running it has succeeded loading 12 rows to the target table now let's go to the target database and see the data that has been loaded in the target table this should be data that we should have in the target table. So select steric from employees underscore aggregate. And you can see the 12 rows for 12 departments have been loaded in it. The similar data that was in which we got from by executing the SQL query in the source table. So the count the minimum salary, maximum salary, average, and sum of all the salaries in the e each department of the database. So in the following videos, we'll be taking a look at a few more examples of the aggregator transformation. Till then, take care of yourself. Thank you very much and bye-bye.